At CES, there are real products like the iPad guitar and prototypes like Sharp's 85-inch TV with a picture eight times better than HD. This thing is the Flower Power Garden Pro. It's, it's a prototype or is it an actual product? It's, it's a project for Parrot that will be coming out in 2013. Low Power Bluetooth connects your garden to a custom app. We have a database of over 6,000 different plants. The bottom section here, which will go into the soil, yeah. is measuring the moisture within the soil and the fertilizer within the soil. It also takes the temperature and watches the sunlight over your plants. It will show us exactly where we're at with each of the four sensors. You can see right now we have an issue with water. We're watering it. You can see live on the screen the adjustment in the water moisture within the soil, herbs, fruit, lawns, etc. So if you don't have a green thumb, you can have Bluetooth. We found a FEMA official wandering the show floor looking for ways to help after the next Sandy or Katrina. When we can get there, we want to bring as many resources to that area uh, through different technologies, through connectivity. Even in the midst of a natural disaster, people get colds and flu. Perhaps this booth called Health Spot could help. These are the symptoms that we're currently treating. Cough, diarrhea, nausea, fatigue, wheezing, earaches, headache, eye irritation, body aches, fever, urinary problems, sore throat, skin rash, shortness of breath, nasal congestion. Step inside and there's the real doctor on the internet. You can go ahead and place that on your chest. So this is one end of the stethoscope and the other end is in your ears in Columbus, Ohio. In the future, we could deploy mobile devices that would allow access to both patients and physicians during a natural disaster. Put these on flatbed trucks, and then the people who aren't seriously injured could be seen by one of our physicians, yes. So it's not just games and fun. There's some real life-saving technologies on display here that could make the future safer for people after natural disasters. In Las Vegas at CES 2013, I'm Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.